Hola from Jola, mga kababayan! From all over the world, welcome to another episode of Recipes with Stories. So for today's recipe, it's very simple. Another recipe with story is a Piang Shanghai wrapper. Okay, parang na na naglalaro yung Piang Shanghai wrapper. My version is the paper thin, not the usual. And ito kasi yung parang nakasanay ko sa Pilipinas, lalo na sa probinsya. Yung bumibili ka sa palengke, yung malinipis, paghiwak, hiwalay mo pang gano'n. 10 pesos lang yun, tas marami na. So, gano'n yung gagawin ko. Susubukan natin gawin. My story behind this, actually, ginugal ko yung uh, recipe na to before. Kasi nag-crave ako for Filipino lumpia. Shanghai. Uh, lumpia ang Shanghai. Which is, dito kasi sa ibang bansa, ang lumpia dito parang, parang egg roll yung tawag nila. Makapal yung wrapper. So parang ako, parang kinakain ko na lang wrapper. So ngayon, nag-research ako, nag-google ako ng recipe on how to make a paper thin lumpia wrapper. So ganun ang i-achieve na, try natin i-achieve. Okay? Akala ko mahirap gawin. Madali lang siya. Actually, very simple yung recipe na to. Ang kailangan lang natin, two ingredients. Two, two, two ingredients. So we need... For this one, of course, flour and just water. Simple as that. Flour and water. If you want to add salt or a little bit of sugar para make magkaroon ng lasa, it's up to you. But for me, I just use um, flour and water kasi hindi ko kailangan ng extra lasa. Kasi pag gumawa naman ako ng lumpia, gagawin ko ng malasa yung lumpia, di ba? So I'll stick with flour and water. Um, the ratio of this one is ratio and proportion. <laughs> uh, parang for every 3 4 cup of flour, I'll use 3 4 cup to 1 cup of water. Okay? So, minsan nagdadagdag ako ng water kasi nagdadry na siya. So, may masyado na siya nagiging sticky. Hindi ko na siya ma-spread sa pan. Okay? Meron kang gusto ngayon achieve na consistency. Dapat hindi siya masyadong malapot. Okay, para mas para ma-brush mo siya sa pan ng maigi, mag-spread siya ng maigi. And of course, to do this, we will need this to whisk para maging fine yung ating um, mix para wala masyadong buo-buo. And of course, basting brush and of course the bowl kung saan natin i-mix to. Lastly, we will need also non-stick pan. Um, I advise non-stick pan. Kung wala, I think pwede pa rin naman. Nakakita na ako na gumagawa nito na hindi, hindi non-stick. Pero mas madali pag non-stick pan. And also, we will need a flipper or turner. Ito, gamit ko na siya kasi nag-start na ako kanina. Uh, maya maya ipapakita ko. Paano na natin gagawin? For, for the meantime, Let's mix the flour and the water, okay? So this is one cup. Let's try first. This is one cup. So let's try first three-fourth cup. Room temperature water, actually. This is very cold or hot. It's room temperature. So let's do one quick. Let's see.
There you have it, guys. Ayan, pakita ko sa inyo yung kaya na lang Product. So, ito na yung mga wrapper na nagawa natin. Tara! See? Paper thin, lumpiang Shanghai wrapper. Paper thin, lumpiang Shanghai wrapper. There you have it! There you have it! I hope you enjoyed the video and sana may natutunan kayo tips at sana makasurvive kayo this um, lockdown through this. Kung wala kayong mabili sa palengke, this is your chance to create your own lugyang siya kay wrapper. Napakadaling gawin. Very simple yung ingredients. Two ingredients, just water and flour. That's it. Magagawa nyo na siya. Okay na siya. Very easy, very simple. Okay? And if you're going to try it, please let me know. Please message me on my Instagram. Or comment here. And uh, kung naging successful siya, please tag me on Instagram. Para makita ko naman yung mga gawa niya. There is! Lugyang Shanghai! Coming up! Okay. So, um... Sana abangan nyo yung next video ko kung ano yung next na recipe na lagam natin. And if you have any suggestions on what else that you want me to prepare, especially for those Filipinos abroad na very limited yung ingre um, Asian ingredients na meron sila, let me know. Let's see if what we can do. Diba? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yan lang. Thank you so much. Again, this is Recipe Sweet Stories. Thank you.